Christian German who hid Jews during the Holocaust, and he was asked why he did such a heroic and dangerous act. His answer was simple. At least I will know when I die and stand before God, he will not ask me what he asked Cain in the Bible. Where were you when your brother's blood cried out from the ground? What the world needs to start thinking about today is, what will your excuse be? That's powerful. Um, One of the things that are so important for us to know is that a God-centered life, a living, a morality that is based on the principles that God has instilled into humanity, that is the source of us being able to withstand uh, challenge, adversity, um, even danger on the outside. When When I'm committed to something higher, I'm able to make the correct decisions and to live a moral life despite any sort of opposition. This little clip actually reminds me that even when we're not in a time of opposition, that there is a question that God asks every single one of us, and really a question that we need to ask ourselves as well. And that question is just before the incident with Cain and Abel in the Bible, where God confronts Adam and Eve after they uh, had, had committed their sin and eaten from the tree of knowledge. What God says to Adam is, Ayeka, where, where are you? Now, even though the commentaries say that God was just sort of opening the opportunity for Adam to fess up about his sin, what the deeper and more relevant uh, question that each of us are being asked is Adam, the first human being, Adam, is, is also the word that's used for mankind. Every human being is asked by God, where are you? What are you doing with yourself? I put you in this world for a mission. Every single human being is created in the image of God. Everyone has a divine mission. How are you doing? How how are you doing in the fulfillment of that mission? Where are you? Where, Where are you holding in life? Are you wasting your time? Are you involved in all sorts of vanities? Or are you centered on the purpose that you were created here for? We all have to recognize that we're put here in order to make this world into a good and godly place. When we live as a conduit for higher ideals, we maximize life in the way that it's supposed to be. When our actions reflect divine morality, you align with the very reason that you were created. It's God's guidance that transforms a wandering soul into a purposeful journey. 